For Shannon Moyle, her early childhood memories are good. Very happy. The now 20 year old says her life took a dark turn when she was in middle school. It hit rock bottom pretty fast towards the end of sixth grade. And that was like the first time that I had started self-harm and like all of that really caught up with me. The next four years, it only got worse. I was hospitalized three times. Um, they were all Baker X. And after being misdiagnosed with depression and bipolar disorder, Shannon says she learned she had borderline personality disorder. Kind of like, I'm not fighting this invisible illness anymore. There's a name to it. It's really scary for us because up until that point, she was pretty normal. Registered social worker and therapist at Therapeutic Oasis of the Palm Beaches, Allison Moyle says her daughter's diagnosis inspired her to change careers and help other children. She says the COVID-19 pandemic could lead to more children being misdiagnosed. A lot of parents are in denial and, you know, they, they invalidate their child to say, oh, you'll get over it. It's just, you know, this is happening to everybody. She says there are warning signs. Your teen not being able to get out of bed, you know, and not taking a shower and not paying attention to hygiene. Those are signs of maybe a severe depression, you know, or so scared or the anxiety is so bad they don't want to go to school or they can't do things. Shannon, who is following in her mom's footsteps and now pursuing a master's degree in social work, says she wants children to know it's okay to speak up. Don't be afraid to seek help. Reporting in Palm Beach County, Sabir Raper, WPTV News Channel 5.